So what vintage bicycles are actually going down in value? Well, right now, the way things are in our economy in general, collectibles, all collectibles, are, are having a hard time. Um, but to talk specifically to vintage bicycles, I've got three categories here that right now are not commanding what they commanded five years ago. The balloon tire bikes. If you're going to buy a balloon tire bike, I would look for a bike that had the most accessories possible. Make sure it's a male framed bike. Make sure it has some kind of fender light, some kind of tank, some kind of front suspension. This bike has lost in the past couple of years uh, at least a quarter of its value because nobody's nobody's buying them right now and the people that rode these as kids are not buying this style bike. Middleweights are also dropping. Same reason they were made for only about a 10 year period and they do some of them have some really cool styles but people just aren't buying them. The people that rode them are not into collecting bicycles anymore. Buy one that has at least has some kind of front suspension or a front rack. Make sure you get the funkiest headlights you can find. And always make sure you have a tank. And now for the muscle bikes or the Stingrays. These, this bike is probably half of what it would have sold for a few years ago. Uh, one reason is that the market went nuts about, in the, say, from just before the year 2000 up until a couple of years ago. Everybody wanted these, and the online auctions were pricing these at ridiculous amounts, and a lot of people bought them and tied up a lot of money in them. If you are going to get one of these bikes... Make sure it's got some kind of stick shift shifter.